Hello and welcome to the P Security channel. Today we've got another exciting product here called AV Etex. I'm assuming most of you haven't heard of it before. So this is a basic uh, free anti-malware package. It comes with email protection, automatic updates, real-time internet and registry protection. As far as I've seen, this program does have some zero-day capabilities, but it doesn't seem very heavy in that department. Now, as far as options go, customization options are severely limited, I feel. I don't see any specific options to change uh, its zero-day characteristics, but uh, we do have some features, and uh, they have a basic uh, security level, like you can go for a light, medium, or full security. And uh, since it comes with medium security on default, that's the way I will run the, te uh, run the test. So, as for memory usage, it does use some RAM. It has like 120 megabytes used up at the moment, or even more. So, it's not exactly light on the RAM usage. It does use a ton of RAM, but that's not a huge concern these days. I'm not seeing a lot of system slowdown, though. So, I'm not too concerned. Now, they have a browser add-on, too, I believe. So... Um, today I won't be giving it the full review t treatment, but uh, we will uh, go through these uh, zero-day uh, malware links. I'm not sure if all of them are zero-day, but definitely some of them. And uh, yeah, let's see how it can protect us. So this is our first link. I'll have to download this file, first.exe. So let's try running it. Okay, this one doesn't seem to be working, but uh, I'll try saving it this time. So let's see where it is. And it looks like a PDF file, but it's an application, so that's basically meant to fool you. And it doesn't work. Fine. So I'm not sure if uh, it was blocked or if it just didn't run on the operating system. Let's try this one out. It's a similar file. Let's try running this one. And this one was blocked. Gen variant Casey. Right, so this one got blocked by AVE text. Let me just show you quickly that it's up to date. There you go. So I did update it before the review. Let's try out this one. VVV.exe, very funny name. And uh, it's blocked. So that's good to see. So the real-time protection is up and running. Let's just quickly go, go through these links. Okay, this one's blocked by their heuristics. That's good. And uh, here's another one. It's a fake Adobe Flash Player. Let's try running this one. I'm not sure if uh, this is a Trojan or maybe it's also a piece of adware. I'm not exactly sure. See uh, what it does. All right, so I'm not very pleased here. As you can see, I didn't get an alert, and uh, well, it looks like uh, it has done something to my computer. Basically, it's turned off user account control. I didn't want that to happen. All right, this one doesn't seem to be working out. Let's try it out again. All right, here's the file. Let's try running it. Now here are two more files. Let's try them out too. This one has a pretty high detection ratio, so it should be caught, and it is. This one's also blocked, so That's good to see. 
However, I'm not pleased that uh, that fake flash player got through. And uh, here's the last link, and it was blocked as well. So, what can we say about AV eTex? Well, it did let that one thing go through. I will do a couple of scans, so there's no need to uh, get worried. Um, but for the moment, I think this thing is just relying on its signatures. So, well, it does seem to have pretty good signatures after all, doesn't it? Well, not exactly. Now, here's a little bit of a twist in the tail. I went up to their website and checked out their product, and uh, they hadn't mentioned using any engine anywhere. Neither do you have anything uh, in this product saying what engine it uses, but if you go into program files, if you have the patience, and you go down here, and you see their plugins, well, look at that. Now, these are all Bitdefender signatures. And as you can see, it's most likely using the Bitdefender engine entirely. And uh, as you can see, these are all the Bitdefender signatures. You can try matching that with uh, a Bitdefender installation, and you'll find that these are the exact same files. So, so why am I worried? I mean, it's fine. If it's using Bitdefender engine, that's probably good news. Not necessarily. At this point, I'm not exactly sure if this program is legal or not, because uh, they haven't really written about Bitdefender anywhere, not on their website, not on their product at all. I mean, you wouldn't get to know it's using Bitdefender unless you checked it out yourself. So I'm not sure if they've uh, licensed the Bitdefender engine or they're basically stealing the signatures. I, I have no way of knowing. If anybody knows anything more about this, uh, please let me know in the comments below if it's actually got the licenses to use those signatures or if they're just doing it anyway. And uh, if you don't have an idea, I would like someone to post this uh, and report it to Bitdefender. But anyway, I don't want to jump to too many conclusions here. I'll just be completing the review on the product. So let's do a few scans and find out what happened to the piece of malware that it let in. The light scan by Hitman Pro was enough to verify that this system is indeed infected. Now it may have some more traces elsewhere, but for our purposes it should be enough evidence. Now as you can see we've got a Trojan in the Windows folder. Now that is not a good thing. Definitely not. I mean, I basically judge the products I test by the nature and severity of the infection I find. And this is not a good infection at all. I mean, stuff in app data, blah, blah, blah is okay, but I mean, this is a serious infection. And as you saw, the thing just disabled user account control. If it was able to do that, I'm sure it can do a ton more stuff as well. And uh, there was absolutely no reaction from their zero-day components. So at the moment, I'm definitely not happy with this product because basically what I'm seeing is that it's just the signatures. And if it is just the signatures, I don't see any logical reason to use this shady, uh, suspicious program because after all, I mean, I'm not even sure if they've licensed the Bitdefender signatures that they're using. And even if I did want to use the Bitdefender signatures, there's so many other products out there with better features. I mean, why would I go for this thing? So although it may look good, I'm not sure if... Uh, I would like to recommend this program because, I mean, if you really want to be using Bitdefender signatures, I'd suggest just go and grab yourself Bitdefender, right? They give you zero-day protection, firewall, lots of other stuff like active virus control and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this thing just seems uh, like they're just taking the signatures and they're just using it to make a product and they also have pro version, so then they're going to ask you to buy it and they're making money out of it. I'm not sure how much work they're actually putting into this program. So yeah, decent signatures, but then again, Bitdefender signatures. So there's no point of uh, saying that how great an, this AV is because they're just basically using Bitdefender signatures and that's the end of the story. I'm not sure if they do anything else at all. So 
this is a decent program, but then again, I would like to do some more research before I can say whether or not um, it's a good alternative. At the moment, I would go with other programs because I'm not sure. Their website was a bit suspicious too. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. I mean, if you know more about this program, I would definitely like to hear it. It's not that uh, I'm not open to opinions. I mean, if it's uh, fully legitimate, I think, um, yeah, it may be a valid alternative. But then again, I would go with something that has zero-day protection. I mean, they have some Windows registry protection and some internet protection, but all I saw was just the real-time blocking. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, have a nice day, and uh, I'll be back with more updates soon.